So hello, J.A., welcome to Brazil. And uh, you. you know, I was doing the math here. You were about 18 when the first Jurassic Park movie uh, was released. Do you remember how you felt for you to watch it? Of course, I mean, it's impossible uh, to forget, you know, what was the impression of seeing the first dinosaur on the screen uh, in Jurassic Park. I, I, I remember that. I saw that dinosaur and I thought, that, okay, from this moment on, everything is possible. So I had the impression of being watching a, a, a moment in movie history, like thinking from, from this moment on, you can do anything that you can imagine and in a realistic way on the screen. Um, uh, there is a paradox there, uh, and that is the fact that that enchantment is not possible mm -hmm. anymore. So you have to offer something else you have to reel the audience in by other emotions than that first wow mm -hmm. that the first movie gave us. So what do you think is the most effective way to reach the audience's emotions um, uh -huh. with Jurassic World now? I think Jurassic World, the first movie, uh, did an amazing job in capturing the sense of wonder that Jurassic Park had. And uh, Colin and I mm, definitely were looking for going back to that element of fear of what was the terror of being in front of a T-Rex or that scene with the velociraptors in the kitchen, yes. you know? And we wanted more suspense, definitely. Uh, I think this is the reason why um, they thought about me because I, I did a couple of uh, suspenseful movies in the past and, uh, and, and for me it was very exciting because I love Jurassic movies and bring back my, my background of, of suspense and, and and scariness to the film was uh, very exciting and fun to do. Um, there is one thing that we really do understand as a filmmaker, and that is the sense of fear. Mm -hmm. uh, so are you taking good advantage <laughs> of that gift this of, time? <laughs> of course, of course. We all remember scenes in the Jurassic Saga uh, that we were scared. We, we remember jump moments, and you know, that's part of, of the fun of watching Jurassic movies, you know, uh, and definitely the others will find uh, a couple of scenes uh, that will keep them at the edge of their seats, you know. I but do you think, are you going deeper into the fear as well, that fear of nature, of the uncontrollable, or mm -hmm. the... Um, yeah, I think from the moment the movie is called Fallen Kingdom, it tells you a lot about what the film is about, you know, and you know, Jurassic movies, they always have a lot to do with the moment uh, we're living on right now, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think their movies, they're very entertaining, they're very fun to watch, but they talk about relevant themes and they talk about our relation towards science and uh, towards new technologies and I think it's a, it's a more relevant theme than ever nowadays. Um, uh, J.A., you also have a very good eye for young actors. Mm -hmm. You have reviewers Tom Holland, Roger Prince, uh, <laughs> Louis McDougall, all of them wonderful young actors. So who are you uh, showing us for the first time this time? Uh -huh. uh, apart from Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the biggest, the biggest kid in the set. Yeah. Chris Pratt, right? <laughs> well, I mean, you will find, of course, uh, that's part of the DNA of the saga, you know, to, to have a kid. And we have a very special kid for this one. Uh, it's a little girl. She's called Isabella, and, and you will see her. She's a fantastic uh, actress. I think she's going to have. A, uh, she has a huge career in front of her right now. Where, what do you look for when you're casting a very young actor? I think for kids, uh, it's, um, uh, the, I want to keep them spontaneous. You know, in front of the camera, I want to keep that sense of uh, f freshness. You know that that that. that that a kid brings, they, they, they're not actors most of the time, you know. Uh, so I think it's, uh, it's what you're looking for. Um, I, it's very, it's very the, the little girl that we have in Jurassic, she's very special. She hasn't done anything, absolutely anything before than Jurassic. Not a single commercial, absolutely anything. And that's, wow. that was very interesting. Wow. Do you feel you have to cast close to character? Uh, yeah, such a young person. Yeah, but that's yes. uh, but it's not just with kids. It's uh, in general when you're looking for an actor, it's great if the actor has some threats in common, threats in common with the character. 
And Jay, whose idea was it to bring Jeff Goldblum <laughs> back into the mix? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I should say that that was, uh, uh, the f that was the first thing that I read from the script. And it was so exciting to have uh, Malcolm back in the story, you know. I think uh, he doesn't play a major role in the story, but he's a very significant one. Uh, we'll take what we can get. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, J.A. It's been a pleasure talking to you.